Hey everyone, it's great to be back with you after celebrating Easter and then starting a new series this past Sunday all on mental health. For so long, this topic has seemed taboo or off limits and these real things like depression and anxiety and ADD or ADHD and so many others get swept under the rug. So I'm glad we're leaning in over these next few weeks as a church to speak directly to them. Some of which you might be facing even today. In many ways, we've all taken a hit after this past year, and maybe this will provide you an opportunity to acknowledge and address some things that have been going on recently, over the past year with 2020, or maybe even longer. Jesus says that the greatest commandment is to love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. And if one of those is missing, in this instance, the mind, we're falling short of that. And as I remind us all the time, we're sinful, fallen, broken people. We're not going to do this perfectly, but these things should be increasing in us. And that's not going to happen if we look the other way and don't address our mental health, our mind. And during this series, we have resources to help you navigate a variety of mental health topics like soul care, as well as some material we're making available in our small groups. Mental health professionals will be talking about choosing a Christian versus a non-Christian counselor how medication should play into treatment, and how chronic conditions physically affect our brains. It's not only going to be interesting, but I also hope it will be beneficial as we take these weeks to really look at how we can all love God better with our minds and honor Him with our lives.